Ties at the neck, single folded socks, neatly combed hair, clean polished shoes, walking straight cues, but only to the left of the corridor, no stepping on the grass, close top button, do this this way, but don't forget to do it that way. In terms of rules, strictness, and discipline, Catholic school is second to the military. In this Catholic military, I was actually a rule enforcing lieutenant, aka a monitor or prefect. Like, okay, I'm a lieutenant. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> Discipline and following the rules were it was engraved in me. Rules were just meant to be respected. So you can imagine my shock when I leave Jamaica to navigate the Dutch landscape. So to transfer from a school with an entire rule book to a school where the only two rules were no drugs and no public sex um, <laughs> was a very drastic change. And there are many things that I found problems with. So first of all, there was no mandatory Christian devotion in the morning, which just, it just bothered me. And I mean, I could kind of see why it was difficult because my roommates alone were Muslim, agnostic, atheist, Christian, Buddhist, you know, and it, it, would, it would be kind of difficult. But more important than the fact that that rule was not there was the fact that they were also happy. And I know I sound like the Grinch right now. I'm saying like, oh, you guys happy. <laughs> I'm actually not the Grinch. Um, I'm just like, I just don't get it. Because like, how can you be happy without a Christ? It's either they're faking it, or perhaps they don't know what they're, what, what, what they're smiling about. Or even more threatening than the fact that maybe they don't know what they're talking about is, is the fact that I could be wrong. That's more threatening. So anyways, no one has time for existential questions. I want to get into Stanford. Um, <laughs> so while I'm like on my try to get into Stanford grind, um, I can't help but notice that people are incredibly fascinated with the fact that I'm black. It's like, this is fascinating to you, not threatening, not scary, not I'm going to steal something from you. Um, <laughs> so I didn't get it. I also didn't get why people seem to like, like Afros, like, this is strange. Like, why? Why would you think that this is this is this is a cool hairstyle? Like, that's weird. Because to be honest, in Jamaica, you only compliment someone's hair when they just get a straightening treatment, or if they get a new weave. Like, that's when it looks good. So, I I I just decided that these people are really weird, and I just couldn't wait to go home for summer. Um, so I went home super excited, and then I I was faced with a different kind of strangeness. All the normalness that I was so excited to, to, to experience again was was just was just stranger than than the Dutch place that I was in. I started to realize all these different biases and prejudices that we had. It was actually like me like having X-ray vision into the remnants of a post-colonial society. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then bigger question now, how could I have been blinded to this the entire time, like an entire 18 years of being blind, like how could I not have questioned my foundations? And one of my answers to this is um, obedience, blindly following without questioning. And I don't want you to think of obedience within the context of liking my hair or like telling people to button their buttons. Um, I want you to think of obedience as being prevalent in like every single thing. Almost like, it, 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 obedience pervades our, 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 our entire lives. Every day and in almost every way, we operate under some convention or another. Rules are passed for us to follow. The media can basically determine which war you support. But even greater than this issue of you know, the biases and ulterior motives of our authorities and our media houses, even greater than this us versus them battle is the even scarier, more terrifying us versus us battle. Will you be obedient to? Will you accept foundations as the truth or will you dare to question them?